Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a really awesome intro video using Movavi Video Suite 2021. All right, so once you open up Movavi, you're going to come up here to the top left corner and then go down to the fourth icon that says titles. And at the top of this list that pops up, you will find intro videos. Now we will go ahead and click on intro videos. So as you can see, I have a lot of intro videos here in my collection, and that's because I have Movavi Unlimited, which gives you access to download anything you want from the Movavi store. But if you do not have Movavi Unlimited, then that's okay, because Movavi comes with a nice selection of free intro videos. Now I'll show you an example of a few free ones and some that I have downloaded from the store. So this one probably looks familiar because this is the one I used at the beginning of this video. Now let me show you how I made this one my own. First, we will start by grabbing the intro and dragging it down into our timeline. Now once it's in your timeline, you will notice that there are two icons in the top left corner. The save icon, which means you can save any intro you create and it will permanently be added to the collection of intros and you can use it for future videos. If you plan on using it often, I would suggest labeling it with an A or a one so it's at the top of the list since there's no search option and it's all in alphabetical order. The next is the edit icon, which is where you will be able to customize the intro that you have selected. Now let's get into editing our intro video. So let's click on this edit icon, or you can just double click anywhere on the clip. Okay, so as you can see, that has opened up a whole new timeline specifically for this intro video. By clicking apply and return right here in the bottom right corner under your window, that will bring you back to your main timeline. All right, so inside of this new timeline, you can do pretty much anything you want. And you can treat this intro just like any other video clip. So now let's talk about how to customize the video clip itself as far as length, color, filters, and more. But if you're happy with the clip as is, you can skip to the next section where we will talk about titles. All right, so let's double click on our clip. That will bring you to clip properties where you will find two separate tabs, general and applied effects. Now under general, you will be able to control the speed of the clip, fade in, fade out, and reverse. So let's speed up our clip a bit and then fade it in one second and fade it out one second. Now applied effects is where you will find all of the effects you have put in your intro video. So let's work on applying some effects. Now you can add sound, music, filters, transitions, titles, and stickers. I have a separate video on most of these effects and how to use them, which I will link above and at the end of this video. But for now, let's go up to this second icon, filters, and we'll scroll through some until we find one that we like. By clicking on the filter, you can see an example of what it looks like in your preview window, or you can drag it down and place it onto your intro video clip. You can press play here under your window or press the space bar to see what it looks like. Now if you want to adjust or delete the filter, you can just click on this star icon that's right here in the top left of your clip. Now this star will only appear once a filter has been applied. And if you click on it, that will bring you to your applied effects where you can adjust the intensity of the filter or just press this X to delete it. All right, so last, if you don't like a part of the intro video, you can trim it the same way you would any clip by grabbing the end or the beginning of the clip like this, dragging it in or out. Next, let's begin working on titles. So let's go ahead and click on our pre-made title and that will bring you to this menu titled Clip Editing, where you will find four separate sections, text, clip, new preset, and motion. First, let's look at text. Now this is where you will type in whatever you want. I am going to type in the topic of my video. Then we can change the color, font, size, and then you have some other basic options down here. Then at the bottom, we can add a background, change it to whatever color you like. You can add an outline, and then there's some thickness options. Then you can come over here to your media window where you can reposition your title and change the size. Next is clip. Now this is where you can change the duration and the animation speed. 
Then we have new preset. This is where you can save the title that you have created and use it again later or in a different video. It will be saved under the titles tab. Then last we have motion, which I made a whole video on how to use this and I will link it above. But what it basically means is you can link your title to a moving object in your video clip. Oh, and I almost forgot. You can also delete these pre-made titles and bring in new ones. Now, if you come down here to your timeline, you can see here that there are some preset keyframes. That's these little red dots. What this does is it controls when and how your title appears and when it fades out. Now you can adjust it by just grabbing this little red keyframe and moving it around. Pulling it to the beginning will make it appear faster. Then you can right click on the keyframe and that will bring up some options. Edit, reset, copy, remove, and remove all. But since there are so many things that you can do with these keyframes. I'm going to make a separate video all about how to use them and everything you need to know about advanced animation. So obviously there are a million other things that you can do, but since we have gone over all of the basics, let's go over here to the right and click apply and return. Now you can always go back in and edit more by clicking this edit icon on your intro clip. Now once we're back in our main timeline, we can still add stuff to our intro from here, like transitions, stickers, music, and more. Now, if you don't like any of the pre-made intros, there are many other ways to create an intro. One example would be going up here to the top left import tab, then going down to either sample videos or backgrounds, or you can use any other video clip or photo that you might have. It doesn't have to be something from inside of Movavi. Now you can just drag one of these down into your timeline, then come back up here to the top left corner and grab a title, customize it, grab some stickers, then adjust everything into an order that you like. Now one last important thing that you cannot forget is to add music. And if you need help with that, in the link above is a video I made that explains all of the ways you can add music.